it's a walkout. That's a walkout. Brazilian right wing walk. Rodrigo? Oh my goodness, that's a walkout. That could be Rodrigo. It's gonna be Rodrigo. Come on, lads. What a hit. Come on. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to start FC25 without spending any money and building yourself one of the best possible accounts that you could build on this game. First thing you gotta do is pick the nation that you want to start off with. I always go with France, England, or Brazil. It's kind of what I always do. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with England. I feel like, I don't know, give me Jude Bellingham. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be phenomenal. But you get this quick little uh, uh, team that they give you, a little starter team. This is what we're going to have for this year. If you guys are new around here, what's up, YouTube? I'm your boy, Double A Nine Skills. Welcome back to the Rotofoot Champions RTG edition that we've been doing since FIFA 17. So we've been a, year, a lot of years in. I've been doing Rota Glories even before that. But yeah, man, since FIFA 17, I really started doing it heavily, showing people how to build an account and how to get top 100 or rank one, whatever you want to call it, the highest finishing foot champions without spending a dollar. Like, listen, here's the deal. There's a lot of things we can do and what we can't do you know what i'm saying but the number one thing we cannot do is spend money that's all it is everything else fair game do whatever you want but we just can't spend money so ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another year of the road for champions rtg edition it's time for us to pick up our shirt and for the shirt i'm really liking this wolfberg uh, uh, uh shirt right here um poland's really nice as well you know what i'm doing I'm gonna keep it simple keep it basic and i'm gonna go with this beautiful green i don't know i kind of like it and then for the away jersey we got the uh italian one the netherlands one um, what do we want to go with? Nice little yellow one right there. I'm going to go with the Netherlands. I feel like that's a nice little vibe. A green one, a blue one. Real nice. Oh, my Befica. Come on. Let's go. You know it's going to be a good year when they give you your badge, your club badge. There we go, baby. We got it. Hey, if you enjoy it, smash thumbs up. Can we get 2,000 likes? That would mean the world to me. And let me know in the comments down below. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. We don't want to bring it. We don't know. Please leave my FC points on FC24. We are starting fresh. By the way, I do got to let you guys know that I do have the pre-order. So we will talk about that. And I'll tell you exactly what comes with the pre-order. So you guys can understand what that means. Um, but yeah, in the comments down below, let me know uh, if you pre-ordered the game or you didn't pre-order the game. And if you enjoy the content, make sure to hit that big old thumbs up. Now, with that being said, we are going to skip everything. We, we go straight to the, the menus. Now, as you guys can see right now, I'm in all zeros. Okay? Because when I'm recording this episode, the game is about to come out. I got the game a little bit early from FC uh from EA we'll shout out to them for that um but the game when I upload this video the game's gonna be out in a couple of hours um so I wanted to show you guys how I would start an account completely fresh now when the game drops I am gonna have my pre-order what happens when you pre-order you get a couple packs and also lads you also get 4,500 FIFA points so there's two ways you can go about it if you're someone who didn't pre-order we'll talk I'll talk to you about it if you're someone who pre-ordered then um you know, I'll, I'll, I'll also talk to you about that as well. So as you guys can see, I don't have my pre-order FC points and I also do not have my pre-order hero pack, which should come, I think on Friday, if they give it to us, hopefully they give it to us. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and rip some loans while I speak to you guys about a few things. So the number one thing is that if you are a person, let, let's start with people who didn't pre-order. The number one thing that all of us are gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to open up every single pack that's obviously available to you, okay? And a big thing that you can do from the beginning, if it is tradable, and you can't sell it, discard it if that, if you get what I'm saying. Also, just real quick for everyone who's who has it, who doesn't know, to know if you're getting a walkout, which is like an 85 plus pretty much. Garnacho! One of my favorite players in world football. Four star weak foot, three star skiller. Nice, bro. Big Garnacho, the Argentinian beast, the Manchester United legend is officially with us, man. Let's go. That is our first player to our starting 11. That is a beautiful way to start the RTG, man. I love that. I love that. I love that. Road to glory have gone so many different ways where there's different rules for uh, every people for everybody everyone has their own rules like for example that like some people do road to glories based around a player like zadan road to glory or you know like uh uh uh, uh um you know just anyone a any player you know cristiano ronaldo some people do na nation some people do clubs some people do evos only um my only rule really is to not spend money that's it like it's literally that you could do whatever else you want just you can't spend money and you want to show what i want to do is show people how to get the best finish in foot champions without spending money that's always the goal here and we do it every single fifa we just i don't know we've just been blessed enough to do it so with that being said garnacho is our first player into our starting 11 welcome lad welcome 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 this is here's, here's the deal lads before i open up any more of the packs this is going to be everyone's best friend even if even listen even if you got fc points coming in this is going to be your best friends you're going to go to moments play moments and then when you get here although it's hecka boring you want to bang this stuff out. And the reason you want to bang this stuff out, lads, is because 
if you collect stars, which your stars will go up there on the top right above me, you'll see right there those stars that will start to collect them. And then you're gonna go here and buy something that you want. So for example, if you if you collect 25 stars, you are gonna get a free draft token. And that is huge because a free draft token, if you know how to play the game or you're pretty good at the game, you can this could be massive profit for you. You could end up taking this free draft token and making thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of coins. But you need to understand that this method is the same method that a lot of the pro players do. So when you get to the semifinals of a draft or a final of a draft, it's gonna be very, very difficult. But with that in mind, that is a very, very easy way to start your account, a very good way to start your account. You collect the token, the, the stars, you don't gotta go play online, you don't have to jump into uh, tough games with an opponent. Real quick, it, it, this is what I wanna tell you, if you don't know, in the back of this, to know if it's a walkout, you will see a little triangle, the lights will glow uh, behind the, the little uh, the shadow person that's walking out. You'll see a little triangle back there that will light up, that means you're gonna get yourself a nice little walkout, okay? So that's how you tell if you get the walkout. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, moments is going to be your best friend. Although it's the most boring thing to do, it's going to be your best friend. And another thing, lads, I, the saying I say in the beginning of every single FC, aka every FIFA, very simple, bro. The boring, do the boring stuff to get to the fun stuff. You got to do the boring stuff to get to the fun stuff, lads. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. What's up, Rich Housen? Uh, Probably going to be in the starting 11. Actually, 100% going to be in the starting 11. Welcome. We just picked up a brand new striker. Do the boring stuff to get to the fun stuff. What does that mean? Play squad battles, play moments, because this is what's gonna get you to the good stuff. This is what's gonna get you to the best weekend league finishes. This is what's gonna get you on top, all right? That's what's gonna take you to the next level, doing the very, very boring stuff that nobody else wants to do, all right? Now, for the people that have the pre-orders, this is really important because I'm gonna have the pre-order as well and, you can, and you're gonna get 4,500 FC points. Now, it is not cheating or it's not a not a road to glory if you use those because all you did was purchase the game, all right? And most people that are fans of this game, like myself and a lot of y'all, you pre-ordered it because that's what we do. We're fans of the game, so we pre-order. That's what a lot of people do. So if you pre-ordered, it's very, very simple, lads. Let me first check out my preview to see if I got a nice little icon or something. I got nothing waiting for me. You know, I had to check if I had to get myself 7,000 coins, you know what I'm saying? Um, so if you get these 4,500 FIFA points, right? Or FC points, excuse me. When you get them from the pre-order, this is what you want to do. If you are somebody that is not, if you don't believe in yourself in the game, if you feel like you're not comfortable beating people 1v1, then you want to take those and kind of wait for EA, in my opinion, to drop a nice little promo pack. Don't waste it on the 7,500 pack coins. Do not waste it here. These, are, these packs are terrible. Wait for them to drop some type of promo pack, some jumbo pack, 100K pack, something. Spend it there, okay? Do not spend on these packs. These packs, you can open up thousands of dollars and get their trash, bro. These are absolute trash. Wait for a guaranteed pack to come out, okay? That's the number one thing. Now, if you're somebody who believes in your ability to play the game, and like my, myself, I kind of believe in myself to play the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to drafts and I'm going to take my 4,500 FC points and I'm going to spend them all right here. OK, so I got to do some quick math real quick. Please don't make fun of me because your, your boy is really bad at math. OK, I should have stayed in school. Let's be honest with each other. But you're going to take 4,500. You're going to divide that by uh, 300 and that's going to give you 15 entries. 15 entries into a draft, all right? Now, with 15 entries to the draft, if you can make the final every time, or if you can even win the draft 15 times, lads, your account is gonna be stacked by the end of it, yo. You're gonna, you're for sure gonna hit at least one player that can make you some coins, all right? So that's a, that's a method as well. That's the best way for you possible, all right? You, everyone's gonna wanna do the moments, then some people are going to want to head into packs with their 4,500 FIFA points that they that they, that they got from pre-ordering. And others are going to, going to go into draft. You got to really sit down, look yourself in the mirror and go, hey, am I good enough to beat people? Can I at least make the semifinals? If you can make the semifinals, you're in a good spot, man. You should be playing drafts. If you can make semifinals, play the drafts. If you can make finals, for sure, play the draft. If you feel like you can't make semifinals of a draft every single time, you might want to you go ahead and save your FC points, the ones you pre-ordered. Save it, wait, pump the brakes, no big, big deal. Just sit back, wait, and use... Um, that in a promo pack when it comes out don't get excited and anxious and open up the 7500 because lads the 7500 is not going to get you anything those packs are really bad man i'm not saying that i'm trying to i'm trying to give you the best advice possible man those 7000 I, I give you a heads up man i spent like two three hundred bucks today on, on my other account the big account and i packed one walkout and it was luka Modric, brother 
It's terrible, all right? So what I'm trying to say to you, and that was a lot of FC points. What I'm trying to say to you, bro, is you're probably not gonna get lucky, so you're better off saving um, your FC points and waiting for a nice little promo card uh, uh, pack to come out. Once that does, rip it, destroy it, have some fun right there, but you wanna have a guaranteed pack, all right? So those are the biggest tips I can give you. Also, once you get like packs, check if they're, you know, if you could discard them or not discard them, because that's also going to be really important to your team as well. All right, because start discarding things. If there's things, don't leave nothing in your club for later SBCs. You want to try to pack, get as many coins as possible um, so you could get a team as quickly as possible. Now, with that being said, we did pick up some gold cards, so we're going to be able to make the first upgrades to my team. I'm going to make massive upgrades to my team right now for the reason being um i want to go ahead and go into moments and start to collect cards now like i said as you guys can tell i did not get my promo packs today so i'm i mean my, my pre-order packs i'm pretty sure i will get them on uh friday i'm hoping i get them on friday or maybe ea just doesn't give them to me i'm not 100 percent sure yet um but i think i'm gonna get them on friday the reason i'm able to get on the account is because i'm using my other account to log into this account does that make sense um so i'll get that i'll get that later in the future uh, in, in the future hopefully and then you guys will be able to see what i get from a hero pack and stuff like that but in the meantime and in between time it's a fresh road to glory i don't even have nothing so i just got to find a way to build a team now with that being said most of these gold cards are going to be better than what i have out there so i'm trying to build a team that gives me a a nice little uh, a nice decent amount of chemistry uh but at the same time uh gives me a team that i could play pretty good with um and i don't mind using silvers in moments moments are pretty easy lads you ain't really gotta uh worry too much about that you'll be fine um this is gonna be the team that i start off fc with right here as you guys are staring at this is gonna be the team that does moments for us and a lot of my squad battles so hey man let me start ripping through moments and i'll show you what i come up with so that's it i'm done just like that i, I probably listen to like three four songs i mean maybe like four or five songs i put some songs on put some good music on sat there vibed out got 25 stars just like that man easy peasy got it done very quickly um you, what took the longest is my game froze one time and i had to reset it besides that lads it was very very simple to get that done and now i just got a decision to make and you know like you can take an 85 86 loan i personally don't think that's worth it for 15 25 gets you a 75 by 5 that's pretty cool too 60 will get you a rare player pack with 12 items so that's something you could think about doing as well but if you believe in the draft then you should go with the draft but it's also one of those things for you to really think about lads that if you're going to use your fc points your 4500 if you have a pre-order on drafts you don't need more draft tokens than that then you probably want to stay away from this as well and maybe go for the 60 because you get 12 uh you get pl packs include 12 items all players all gold all rare it's a nice little pack to open up right there i'm not gonna lie to you but with that being said i'm gonna go with the draft because again i'm playing this a couple hours before the game releases on friday so for me it's thursday right now um so what i'm trying to say to you guys is for me i'm doing this as if i'm i don't have my pre-order packs coming and i don't have that four thousand five because maybe i won't get i think i pre-ordered but maybe i didn't so i gotta play it as if i didn't pre-order the game and if I did, then we get really lucky. And if I didn't, then uh, I'm stupid for not pre-ordering. But anyways, um, I got a lot of things done there. Also, while I was doing it, I got some things done in the objectives as well. So it's always important for you to check your objectives because you might get yourself a cheeky little pack or something. Um, for me, it's a bronze pack, so no one cares about that. But it's a bronze pack. Bronze packs help, help for SBCs and stuff like that. And also, I'm going to get three foundation things done. Um, and it's going to end up being probably some small little packs as well. Actually, 200 coins and two... Um, uh, 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 um uh chem styles now with that being said one thing that's a little bit um cool and sad at the same time because i was in the elite division in the last game i think i was in the elite division on this account i'm gonna be directly into division five now this is crazy because i'm be playing against pro players and mega teams a lot of you guys might be in the same situation i was in if you played fc24 a lot of people will think this is a bad thing but i want you to remember one thing lads that means if you play your games you're gonna get division five rewards usually you would get the division you started at for the week so this is very important because you're automatically gonna unlock division five rewards that's huge you gotta play 15 games it's a lot of games i know that but or you need 15 points i should i should say um 15 points is what you got to pick up but lads with that being said it's very simple you're starting in division five so that's really good also this year i believe you can get relegated so keep that in mind so what i'm going to show you next might be the most important thing for you to remember and for you to do so let me give it to you like this power shot is a shot that i suck and i'll never do online i'll never take a power shot maybe every now and again but definitely not 50 times well i've already unlocked the mega pack by using power shots you're probably like how did you do that 
Also, when you scroll down, I'm about to unlock a jumbo rare player player pack, um, which is untradeable, but a jumbo rare, which is huge by scoring 250 goals. Now you probably think to yourself, skills, that's a lot of goals. Not really, let me explain why. First of all, you're gonna pick what shot you don't like the most. Power shots, maybe volleys, whatever you want. I'm done with power shots, so I'll probably move on to, well, finesse shots don't give you nothing. Power shots don't give you nothing. You wanna look for the ones that give you a pack. Now, none of these really give you a pack, so maybe chips give you a little thing, so you can go with chips. But one thing you can do is assist. And as you can see, every time you get more and more assists, you're gonna unlock things. Now, all the way to 300 will give you a rare mega, so make sure you're getting assists. But you're probably saying, skills, how are you doing it so easily? Let me show you. You're gonna head over to squad battles, and again, this might be boring to some people. To me, it's collecting packs, so it's fun. You go to squad battles, and this game right here is gonna be your best friend. Why is this game gonna be your best friend? Because you could play it over and over and over and over again. So I've played it three times, and as you can see, I got 29 goals, and that was me taking power shots, so I missed a lot because I suck with power shots. Pretty much, you could score over 30 goals a game because you could play it on beginner, and you could play it over and over. So right here, it says, do you wanna reset it? I'm gonna say yes. I'm then gonna go into it and go to beginner, and then I'm gonna head into this game and just score 250 goals for a rare jumbo player pack. 45 goals was the best I could do. That was my like my, my best, my best I could do in the game. But I'm officially done. So let me show you, man. I'm up to 4,422 uh, 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 coins. And I've probably been on the game for, I don't know, maybe two hours or something. It hasn't been long at all, y'all. And I, I'm going to be able to collect a lot of objectives. I'm not going to touch the stadium stuff because this stuff doesn't really give us packs to open up. You feel me? So what we are going to open up, lads, is going to be, look at this. We got things for the assists. But realistically, I just got to get uh, 886 more assists, which I'll do actually playing squad battles. That'll be pretty easy. That's 100 k pack right there uh but i'll collect this stuff really quickly because why not let's get this all done um couple packs there plus a little trophy thing which is kind of cool and then also lads as i as i just told you guys the finishing one 250 uh goals i did that in i'll show you in a minute how many also i did the power shot one i want you guys to know that's gonna give me a mega pack and i'll show you exactly how many it took because remember i'm using a first own team and that's gonna show me how many games so it took me seven games of squad battles maybe six i don't know if I, yeah no 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 no. it was definitely seven seven games of squad battles to complete um to get the 250 goals and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will do it faster than me i suck with power shots so those first couple games i was only getting like a little bit in I, like i wasn't scoring a lot of goals like i wasn't scoring 45 goals i was scoring like 20 because i suck with power shots with that being said i'm gonna rip all these packs right now um why you could probably be wondering why would you rip the packs why wouldn't you save them to see if anything else comes out well the truth is lads if i'm being fully honest with you guys is I want to put the best possible team together before I go into any squad battle matches. Why? Because I would love to get top 200. Top 200 is something that we always do. We always open up FIFAs or FCs with a top 200 finish, um, which really sets us off with rewards and gives us banging, banging rewards to start the uh, this season off. So that's something that I'm really, really trying to do, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but for me to do that, I need good teams, all uh, good players. Also, I need to explain something. I am in Division 5, as you guys know. It's a walkout. That's a walkout. Brazilian right wing walk. Rodrigo? Oh my goodness, that's a walkout. That could be Rodrigo. It's gonna be Rodrigo. Come on, lads. What a hit. Come on. Yes, Rodrigo. Let's go. What a start to the RTG. Rodrigo. Let's go. Is it tradable? I'm not sure. Uh, probably untradable. Let me check. It is. Can it be tradable? It's not tradable. It's okay. We don't care. Let's go. And a nice car. Let's go. And a left winger. Come on, boys. Nice. The Man City winger as well. We already have Garnacho too. That's so cool, man. Let's go. Can Rodrigo go striker? He can. Come on. Yo, that's beautiful, 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 man. What a hit. So like I was saying... Oh, these are the big packs right here. Let's do that 75 2 first. Um, like I was telling you guys, uh, the triangle in the back is how you see if it's a walkout, by the way. This is not a walkout. Um, like I was telling you guys, man, uh, we're in... Oh, Inform, come on. Tradable? No. Uh, Inform, though. We're in Division 5. Because we were in Elite in the last game, they put us in Division 5. So we need the best team possible, bro. Before we go into games, we can't be running out and, and playing against like Elite players from last game in this game with, the, with, with terrible cards. So... That's why I went and grinded that real quick to get the best possible team I could put together. And man, because of it, we were able to pick up a Rodrigo. So that's really cool. Let's go with this. This is the car. This is for the guaranteed for doing the power shots. We're not going to get a walkout, but for doing the power shots, we're going to get a French center back from League 1. 
Um, please have over 70 pace. Please, please have over 70. PSG, wait a minute. PSG front center back. Can Pembe? Oh. All right. Hey, listen. It's it's good pace. 74 pace. We'll take that, lads. That's not bad, man. We are not mad at that. We also get Fred, the Manchester United legend. Um, Zaha as well. So was it worth my two hours? Let's find out, bro. Listen, honestly, we got Rodrigo, so I'm chilling. <laughs> we got a walkout. This is the big one, man. We scored 250 goals for this pack right here. Let's see what we get. Is it going to be a walkout? It is a walkout. Let's go walkout, baby. Come on. It's going to be a, 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 a girl walkout, I believe. It is a girl walkout. German from, from Bayern. Girl walk, walk out though, we take that. 86 rate, come on, man. 87 pace, 83 shooting. It's a striker. We'll see if we use her. I'm not sure if we use her or not. I don't know yet. Please give us some good cards in the back of this. Please give us some good cards in the back. Di Maria used to be sick. Yo, Lorente. This is a good card. Everyone who plays this game knows that Lorente is always a beast early in the game. For like a starter team, Lorente is very nice. We got Porro as well. Suarez, Nacho Fernandez, Sorloth. Pembe, let's go. Darwin Nunez, come on, Darwizzi. Let's go, my boy. Darwin Nunez is right there. Mateos Nunes as well. Mateos Nunes looks like a really good card as well. And the boy Anthony, aka Fidget Spinner. Lads, we just got a really, really, really nice start. Let's be honest, man. Um, I am going to go ahead and uh, discard these. We don't need them, so we'll discard that. Lads, what a start to the RTG. Like I told you guys, man, the boring stuff will get you to the fun stuff, man. Just like that, we're going to be able to organize this team way better. Let me show you. By the way, this is what it looks like now. Check this out. This is a great, great start. Just like that. Couple hours in the game, played a little bit of moments, played a little bit of uh, squad battles, and your boy is able to upgrade to this team so quickly. And this Rodrigo card, I would imagine, is going to go to the moon, by the way, once the game actually officially releases in a couple of hours. It's already at 75k, guys. Like, this is a crazy card, and I feel like he's only going to go up, up, up when the game first releases. Maybe, maybe sit around like 50 to 100k. Um, I would imagine because he was a really good card last year and look at him this year, bro Four star four star crazy speed crazy shooting. He's a phenomenal card So guys, I hope these tricks and tips help you guys out to build or start to build your team Obviously for a couple hours. This team looks phenomenal. We have a long way to go We got a big journey ahead of us if I score if I get 86 more assists I'm gonna have a hundred K pack We'll open up that probably in the next episode and we're gonna keep grinding and grinding and grinding But this is day one. I got to start looking at evos for day two. I got to start looking at getting that 100k pack as well and then hopefully when the game releases also get a hero for this imagine we got hazard bro hazard on one side rodrigo on the other chef's kisses hope y'all enjoyed it big thumbs up subscribe turn your bell on and i hope my tips help you guys get a sick team as well thanks for watching appreciate you i'll catch you next time peace